Uh, hello students, how are you? Sorry for today's lectures has been missed because of my internet connection. So I'm gonna uh, catch up with you in this video concerning the uh, what is remain, what have been left uh, about the, the, sorry, the poem sailing to Byzantium. So I want you here to focus on those, those three pages are very much summing up everything concerning the critique about the poem. So uh, the first question I may, you may be asked in during your finals or your first term exam, uh, I might ask you to tell me, the poem is a representative of the simplest, sim representative of the simplest movement. So tell me, this is the question. So. This is the question. So I want you to tell me. The question, the answer of it will be in, in many different, in many different uh, pages that we have. So, if I ask you something else, the central idea of the poem is what? Is the contrast between the two worlds, the world of materiality connected to the physical desires and those stuff, uh, and a world to emit materiality which is through art we have a contrast between two worlds we have the world of materiality and world of immateriality يعني العالم الوجودي او المادي او العالم الحسي او العالم الفني اللي كان he talks he was talking about so this is the major theme the major theme of the poem of sailing to Byzantium so he was talking about everything that is related to those themes in general now we have to shift to the symbols if i ask you so the symbols in, in the poem have uh, negative and positive meanings discuss those who have a negative meanings those who are related to the first world to the first world those are of physical desires uh, leisure anything related if you remember in stanza number one you can find it uh, he talks about the uh, fish and the man and everything that is related to his country he talks about it and talk and tell that it is something um yani negative everything related to ireland and the youth there he said all of these have a negative meaning Okay, the positive uh, uh, symbols in the poem, everything that is connected to art, to the art, and if they, because they will have uh, positive meanings, just like the symbols of Byzantium, the sages, the gyre, the golden, on the gold, the bird, everything uh, of those symbols are, have a positive meaning, okay? So, uh, if we have, if I tell you what are the dynamic symbols in the poem, you can uh, list those, the gyre, the bird, and the singing itself. You, those are very dynamic. What I mean by dynamic? It's haraki. Yani it gives motion. It gives motion to the poem. You feel it just like it, it is an own action. Okay, another question, you can find it here. The idea of singing also has a symbolic meaning. This is a question, and now here you can find its answer. The answer is that it's connected. Anything related to Ireland has a negative meaning. The singing of the birds, the schools, everything is connected. And what does it mean? The positive is connected to the to the singing of the soul, singing of the masters, of the legendary bird, and whatever. So, this the idea of singing changes throughout the meaning. So, according to the change of circumstances. So, this is its symbolic significance, okay? Now, we shift to the themes the, in the poem. We have, let's say, four themes, four themes yeah major themes number one we have a struggle between materiality and immateriality mm, 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 morality sorry and immorality i guess it is morality yes yeah, sorry i guess materiality it's morality i'm sorry the struggle between morality and immorality through art because morality 
with through lust and immorality through art so this is theme number one which is the same the contrast as i said earlier and we have the theme of alienation it is a very important uh qu question or theme in the poem because the poet himself feels himself he is alienated and he feels himself strange to his country because he is an old man and he's just not not like his uh, fellow citizens so this is a very psychological um has a very psychological effect of the side of the poet and especially in his spirit so he feels lonely in Ireland and he is just like he is misplaced and and being misunderstood and disrespected as well so he feels all of these things as related and he has manifested in this poem okay now we have the f the third theme which is the theme of old age old age is a very important theme in the poem you can find it here he talks about it and from two points of view uh, from the point of view uh, physical point of view he talks about his sickness thickness uh, thinness sorry and uh, it is a very he is cannot cope with those uh, young people uh, of his uh, country okay so from a mental and a spiritual point of view he wants he find it like it's a positive part or a, have a positive meaning which is related to wisdom to knowledge literary achievements artistic creations and the like okay you know we know that all people are always wise and wise and wisdom and full of wisdoms okay now we shift to the major one which is the major or theme of faith which uh, runs throughout the poem and we find out the repetition of the word holy throughout the Poem, especially in the second part, the holy city of Byzantium, to the holy bird, and wherever. So, and he mentioned Byzantium, which is a very um, important uh, city uh, concerning literary or religious significance, because it is was not only the center of art at that time, but also the center of faith. Why? Because it was the center of the Eastern, Eastern, Eastern Church. Eastern Church, it was there. I guess you know, we know it from the uh, Hagia Sophia, if you know them, if you know that's what happened in Turkey. Okay, so this is what I wanted to tell you today concerning the material I wanted.